not too long ago, I had a look at the Ace Magic AM0 Pro, a mini PC from Ace Magic. However, today we have an even smaller one, the Ace Magic AMR5. But how much power does it pack? Let's discuss this in this video, and of course, start with the unboxing. When it comes to the unboxing experience, it is nicely packed into what I would say a good quality box. And I know that experience is not something that everyone cares about, but I do. Inside the box you will find a quick overview what it can do, but also what this PC provides. And then you of course have this protective soft foam around it, making sure that during shipping it will be okay. And below it you will find your PC and the accessories that you will need to use it, like your power adapter and of course HDMI cable. So to begin with, the Ace Magic AMR5 with the Ryzen 7 5700U starts at a price of 369 euros at the moment. For that you get 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD memory, which you can easily expand by opening the side panel. This also includes Windows 11 pre-installed. In terms of design, the measurement is 15cm high, 6cm wide and 13cm deep. You get two USB 3.0A ports at the front and one USB-C and of course your headphone jack. At the back you get two USB 3.0 ports as well, a display port supporting up to 4K in 60Hz and an HDMI 2.0 with the same. Gigabyte Ethernet support supporting up to 1 gigabyte per second and of course your power connector. On top of course you will find the switch between silent, auto and performance. Auto will try to find a balance for you. If you tend to play games however, I would put it on performance just for that little bit more performance. And yes it does make a little bit more noise when you do so. And also there are without a doubt cases where you need that. And also needing realistically is you going into BIOS changing the following settings if you do play games on it. This will increase the performance when you are playing games. And games that are reasonably simple will play well and smooth. But games like Fortnite that require more power because of the size of the map and the amount of players on the map itself, it will start to struggle. While Fortnite LEGO runs at 1080p perfectly fine, I would not advise the regular Fortnite. This because simply put, it doesn't have the power to do so. With me having the frames dropped at 30 frames per second, it got around 24 and 27 in some cases and even below that. This makes the gameplay not that smooth. And in games like Fortnite, especially when it's getting sweaty with build fights, you will simply lose. The same counts for Hogwarts. In low settings, it simply doesn't perform that well. But of course, this is a graphic intense game, even more so for such a small mini PC like this. But when it comes to playing games like Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, Stranded Deep, Farming Simulator, Minecraft and so on, it will do decently well. But you do need to change those settings in the BIOS to help with that performance. And of course with the size of the mini PC it is easy to take it with you. If you are at a location where you have a TV with an HDMI port, you can easily take it with you and connect it and do whatever you want on it. Including if you go to Switzerland for instance, like I did. Just be sure that you have the right power connector with you. At the end, the Ace Magic AMR5 is a mini PC that I would recommend if you are playing more simple games that aren't graphic intense or games like Fortnite where you can fight up to 100 players. It is also, like stated, easy to take it with you, use it for your work PC or simply with you to watch movies or TV series because it does support 4K. Meaning you can easily connect your PC, even more so if you don't have a smart TV, to that TV, allowing you to simply watch Netflix and so on and of course watch your movies and series on it. This was my short review on the Ace Magic AMR5 mini PC. Let me know what you think about it and talk to you guys in the next.